Tonight, tensions continue to flare between Russia and the West over the country's annexation of Crimea. The U.S. has imposed economic sanctions on Russia for what the Obama administration calls a land grab. And a recent poll showed American distrust of Russia at its highest since the Cold War. To break down the latest and for what's next in the U.S. and the ongoing crisis, Rockman is joined by a special guest. Rockman. Abby, thanks so much. I'm joined by Dr. Will Moore, a political science professor at Florida State University. Dr. Moore, thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely. Let's get right to it. I, my first question is, the United States is imposing uh, these economic sanctions as well as the EU on Russia. Why aren't they talking to the Crimean leaders or opposition or whatever in Crimea? Because they're the ones who've made the decision. Yeah, indeed. The, um, the, the reason is there isn't someone that you could actually speak to as a leader. What, uh, what, what was scheduled with Russian support was a vote that all the people participated in. But there isn't someone that the United States could turn to. We have no diplomatic relations. We don't recognize Crimea. And of course, we could turn to the Ukraine government, but they don't want that either. So the people who are supporting it are the Russians, Putin. They're the ones that we therefore need to turn to to try and make a difference. And I guess to give context, it's almost as if Spain came and Florida tried to secede that, and join Spain. That's right. Yeah. 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 And, and you, you know, you could try to speak to the governor, but you wouldn't want to elevate it to that, give that person that level status to speak to a diplomatic head of state. Let me ask you this. Is President Obama handling this thing the right way, in your opinion, for the United States? Uh, Yes, in the sense that it really doesn't matter much. Everyone knows that we're not willing to go to war, which I think is a good thing, over this. Uh, the best we can do is offer these sanctions, which frankly are not likely to work. Um, but it's, it, if you're not willing to go to war, you are willing to do the sanctions, that's what you can, that's what you can reasonably do. Dr. Will Moore, thanks so much for giving us your opinion. And uh, I'm sure there are so many other ways that this story will continue to evolve. We'll be following it closely on air and online.